Sorry about that, folks. We're kind of learning on the fly here a little bit. As we are kicking off the show this week, we got... So we're experiencing some technical difficulties here at ringside. We'll try and get the audio feed for you, but as we're kicking off the show this week, we got a battle royal, or well, the pay-per-view. The pay-per-view we got ourselves a battle royal, seeing as the former Twitch champion Dave Mastiff has vacated the Twitch championship. Mastiff has vacated the Twist Championship in an exchange for a World Championship opportunity. This will be coming after the events of tonight's main event, whether it is Prince Devitt or AJ Styles that walks away with the Twitch champ or with the World Heavyweight Championship. Of course, we are live tonight in Boston, Massachusetts. do without audio from this taped earlier from the kickoff show taped earlier on I don't know why we're not we're getting any audio right now but we will have to make do with what we can Joe Henning picking up a victory last week on strike zone Of course, we got this battle royal, and the one coming up after, and the winner of the two battle royals will face each other in a rounds match for the Twist Championship. As is tradition, whenever a title is vacated, that they will be contested in a rounds match. And out next is Eli Drake having a series of ups and downs in his career in RCW so far. So maybe this will be a breakout moment for him. Beauty of live, live entertainment, folks. We have a bunch of technical difficulties and we're not able to solve them. That's the cards uh, that you're dealt with here. So 
So we got the first battle royal. We got Leo Rush, Eli Drake, Rhino, Joe Hennig, and Dolph Ziggler. And Rhino's immediately been eliminated out of this battle royal. Dumped down Aaron ceremoniously. You're sit out your Anagi from Eli Drake. And Joe Hennig. He was perched up on the ropes, but now he ducked under. Like a guillotine from Dolph Ziggler. Joe Henning going to work on Ziggler here. Rush still fighting off, and Ziggler's been eliminated. And now Joe Hennig refocused on achieving success. Again, he's a former Twitch champion in his own right, but we'll have nothing more to win that title back. And then it's been vacated by the bomber Dave Mastiff. And a running knee left from Hennig. And Leo Rush up and over. Ducks underneath into a Hurricane Rana from Leo Rush. And Leo ducks under into the stuff. Into Gary. Beautiful combination there. By a former, also former Twitch champion in Leo Rush. And ah, Joe Hennig dumped over the top rope by Leo. And now Eli Drake picking up the pieces, and Eli Drake will face the winner of the next Battle Royal for the Twist Championship. What do you see in the closing moments? Eli Drake picking up the win. And moving on later on in the show in that rounds match for the Twist Championship, who is now go to our next battle royal. There we go. We got Randy Orton, Ace Austin of the deck, Bobby Roode, Eric Young, and Wade Barrett facing off. And Ace Austin already in a world of trouble right now. Against Bobby Roode and Randy Orton. Ace Austin barely surviving. Wade Barrett going after Eric Young here. And Eric Young, a former Twitch champion again in his own right. But Ace has challenged several times for the Twitch championship, and each time being unsuccessful. Part of the inaugural matchup at breakout with Leo Rush which was a great match to go back and watch now Randy Orton working on Barrett in the corner both these two have a great history with one another Great match between Orton and Barrett before Barrett got his title shot for the world title at Solar Flare. And sending Rude for a ride with the pump handle slam.
Sorry about that, folks. It's a beautiful light television. You never know what's going to happen. As all five competitors are still in the matchup. And we still have not seen an elimination yet in this second battle royal. The winner will face Eli Drake later on in a rounds match for the Twitch title. Now Randy Orton may be sending Bobby Roode onto the floor, and he does. Bobby Roode's been eliminated in this battle royal. Spinning heel kick by Ace Austin. Taking down Randy Orton. And a wicked clothesline from Eric Young. And a wheelbarrow stunner from Ace Austin. And Ace is the only one standing in the ring right now. And Ace looking to hit the fold on Eric Young, but he misses. Possibly some damage to the eye. And Randy Orton still in the corner. And Ace again looking to try to hit the fold, possibly on Barrett, but unsuccessful in his venture. And Eric Young almost eliminated by Randy Orton here. And there's the winds that change side slam by Barrett. And now Eric Young and Ace Austin pairing up here. And Barrett with Orton. Who's going to survive this battle royal to face Eli Drake? Later on in the show. And Ace able to hit that rolling cutter on Wade Barrett. A step up in Zagari takes down the big Englishman. Fall away slam by Orton. And a leaping neck breaker. And again, Ace Austin is the only man standing. The ability of Ace Austin is absolutely unmatched. Except for one reason or another when it comes to that fold, he's unable to hit it. It would be a big elimination if Ace was going to eliminate Randy Orton. Now Barrett and Young just starting to come to. And Eric Young hitting a huge power release power bomb on Wade Barrett there. And Ace Austin looking to eliminate Randy Orton. Orton barely gets his feet up to knock off Ace Austin. Back elbow. And this is an unfamiliar territory for Randy Orton. As you go back and watch our first run in 2016 to 17 that Randy... Had to qualify again for the Twitch title as a part of that show in a kickoff match to proceed to a four-way. Defeated Dolph Ziggler in another hellacious matchup. Again, I encourage you to check that out on our YouTube channel. Back elbow by Ace Austin coming in with a crossbody taking down Orton. And Eric Young still staying alive. And Ace trying to eliminate Barrett another wins and change side slam. And now Orton, just like he did to Bobby Roode, eliminates Eric Young. And Ace working on the knee of Wade Barrett. Great. Great there. Now a straight jacket neck breaker. From Ace Austin. Ace is absolutely full of tricks. 
that he can dispose at any moment to anybody. And now they're working together to eliminate Orton. Is Orton going to survive this? No. So now we are down to Barrett and Ace Austin. Look at the size difference between these two, both in height and body structure. Ace looking to hit that rolling cutter again. And Barrett hitting with the swing neck breaker, and Ace immediately up on his feet. Ace is the only member of the deck representing the faction in both Battle Royals, as you can see. How cool it would be for the deck if Ace were to win this Battle Royal. And Barrett again with another European uppercut. Hitting its mark, is Ace going to survive the elim possible elimination? No, Wade Barrett wins this match. And he goes on to face Eli Drake in a rounds match later on in the show for the Twitch Championship. Actually, I'm being told right now that that rounds match for the Twitch title will be after this next upcoming match, which is the tag team title match between the Bar and the Authors of Pain. So very, you got to be right on top of your A game here tonight at Mosh Pit. Leave no rest for the weary. That's what the women had to go through at Gala in that one night only tournament. As we now move on to the tag team title match. tag team but I was sadly mistaken tag team champions to get out here into the ring
of the bar make their way to the ring right now. And we've seen them collide several times in the past. With the Authors of Pain. And we'll have to see. Or we'll have to wait long to see who's going to walk away with those tag team titles. Pro Wrestling Tag Team on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 620 pounds. Akum and Razor. The Authors of Pain. And their opponents. At a combined weight of 499 pounds, they are the Cesaro and the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus, the Bar. Good response will be the Bars. Last night as tag team champions. We will have to wait and find out as Akam starts off for the Authors of Pain. Cesaro starting off for the bar. And Cesaro sending Akam into the turnbuckle and just being launched by his head. Now Akam in firm control of Cesaro now. And Cesaro able to break out of the hold. And the avalanche uh, alley -oop bomb out of the corner. And the former Twitch champion Cesaro. And now Cesaro in the wrong part of town here with the Authors of Pain. An assisted powerbomb and neckbreaker combination from AOP. And now Ray's arm with a modified camel clutch here on Cesaro. Cesaro able to escape the clutch and makes the tag in comes Sheamus the Irish warrior and these double axe handles have having next to no effect on Razor and both members of the Authors of Pain are huge gentlemen but Razor has got that bit more of a difference between himself and Ray and Akum. This is going to be a grueling tag team match, I can assure of you. Again, another guillotine. Right on the neck. And sweeps the leg to Sheamus. Close line from Razor. And the authors of pain delivering a great strategy by isolating either member of the tag either member of the bar, the tag champs. Wear both men down. And sooner or later there's gonna be nothing left. Combination with stomping a sidewalk slam. From the, author, from the Authors of Pain. Seamus trying to make the tag to Cesaro. He gets a knee right between the eyes for his efforts. Now Seamus, wrist lock into the shoulder tackle. 
In comes Cesaro. And now Razor coming in off the tag. Dropping Cesaro around the top rope. And a double-handed choke slam, but Cesaro able to counter it. Beautifully done there. Into the corner. Tag made. Here comes Sheamus. And a double slingshot right into the turnbuckle pad. And a belly to belly looking to be delivered by Sheamus. Razor able to block it. Seamus busted open right, right above his left eye off that knee from Razor. That elevated hip toss. That's going to hurt coming from Razor. That's for damn sure. Cesaro off the tag, leaping drop kick. Cesaro firm control, snap mare to Razor. I'll try to gather my words here a little bit. An uppercut from Razor. And again, isolation is the name of the game. And the strategy of the authors of pain right now. And a full Nelson position. Double or several knee strikes. And then another gut buster from the challengers. The authors of pain falling into the cover here. This could be enough to win the tag titles. No. One other team can say they've been two-time RCW Tag Team Champions, and that would be the former Neville, now known as Pac, over in General Mission Wrestling, and the former Zack Ryder, Matt Cardona. They're the only two-time Tag Team Champions here in Reign of Chaos Wrestling, and the longest reigning champions in the company's history. But can the Authors of Pain be added to that elite club of tag team champions? About to wait and find out again. Isolation, name of the game. When I say it once, say it again, but it's great strategy by the Authors of Pain as Sheamus is dealing with the referee for one reason or another. I guess just for Cesaro to capitalize here into the gut wrench suplex. Cesaro again with our gut wrench suplex going for a duo. Look at the power and the core strength on display. Cesaro going for a third gut wrench suplex to Razor to retain the titles here. One, two, three. The bar retain the tag team championships. Pure strength on display by Cesaro. Taking down Razor. Not even having to use a tag team finish or a finish of his own. Rather just a trio of suplexes. Trio of gut wrench suplexes from Cesaro to retain the tag team titles. gentlemen we were building up to it in our opening matches the next match is going to be that rounds match 
for the RCW Twitch Championship. And the world's going to be on display here in mere moments. The rules of the rounds match are as follows. This match will be contested in six five-minute rounds. The first competitor to win two rounds wins the match. Scores can be earned by pinfall, submission, or countout. If at any point there is a knockout or disqualification, the match ends. And if the score is tied at the end of round six, the match goes to sudden death with no time limit. Making his way to the Coming ring first is from Eli Los Angeles, Drake. California, weighing in at 242 pounds, Eli Drake. First going out first was Eli Drake, the winner of the first battle royal. And his opponent from Manchester, and England, coming out weighing in at 271 next, pounds, Wade Barrett. Next is Wade Barrett, winner of the second battle royal that we saw before the tag team championship match. Of course, the rounds match was heavily inspired by the British rounds match. Of course, Wade Barrett being a native of Manchester. It would seem fitting, or you would think that he would be the one walking out of the show tonight with the Twitch Championship, but stranger things have happened. This is only the third time that we've had to have a rounds match for a championship. Of course, the first two were at RCW Breakout for the Women's Championship and the World Title. And that's what they're fighting for, the Twitch Championship in this round match.
Again, one sell by Dave Massive until he decided to cash it in for a world title match. They found his contract first five minutes in round number one. Here we go. Eli Drake with a huge clothesline gets a boot for his effort by Wade Barrett. And now Barrett with the ground and pound. Wade Barrett, former number one contender for the world title against Kevin Owens. That solar flare where Kevin retained the world championship. And Barrett looking for a stalling suplex, but Drake able to hit the, hit the knee right on the top of Barrett's head. And it's into a clothesline. And now Drake's just stalking Wade Barrett here. And into the corner in the tree of woe. The knee right to the face. As Drake continues to work on Barrett, but Barrett able to get a quick gut punch in. On the Eli Drake, and Barrett is just teeing off here on Eli Drake. Barrett possibly hits the suplex this time, and he does. These two have very little time to prepare for one another, obviously. With the Battle Royals kicking off the show. Final carry counter there by Drake. So these two got to be thinking light on their feet. Cover here by Drake, but Barrett with a quick kick out. And now Barrett. Butterfly suplex onto the outside of the ring. Of course, he can get a... Vic he can earn a fall here. By count out, but wants to go back inside the ring. There's the winds of change slam. And Barrett looking to end this round quickly. Loading up the bull hammer elbow. And that may be it for Eli Drake in this first round. Is it going to be enough here? One, two, and three. Wade Barrett picks up the first fall. With two minutes and 19 seconds left on the clock, Wade Barrett picks up the first fall in this rounds match for the Twist Championship, and it was a, in very quick fashion. As you can see, he loaded up with the winds of chain slam, then there was the bull hammer elbow. That Wade Barrett picks up the first fall for the Twitch title. He's got to get himself one more victory in order to be the champion. Here is your winner and new. But here we go with round number two. Collar and elbow tie up. Starting off very different from round number one, as you can see. Eli Drake in the first round ran right toward Barrett to probably pick up the fall very quickly but starting off more technical here a second collar and elbow tie up Barrett getting the advantage and a quick sucker punch by Barrett as they were, the referee was trying to get a clean break butterfly suplex by Barrett Barrett going for a standing suplex again. This time he delivers. And Drake with a wrist lock shoulder tackle. Again, that was a big breakout moment for Eli Drake in the first battle royal to win the match. Fly cross body by Barrett. But I don't think that this is exactly who Drake would have preferred to compete against here for the twist title but you never know that Drake could pick up a victory 
Northern Light suplex by Barrett. The Drake could pick up a victory. And then this match of style that it would, for the bigger men, you would think it wouldn't benefit them with all the, again, because these matches can go on for a better part of a half hour, not say that the bigger men are sloppier, but they're not built for cardio as much as the smaller guys are. But Wade Barrett seems to be the exception here. He's making quick work of Eli Drake and Ellis wins the chain slam. There by Barrett and loading up for the bull hammer elbow. This time Drake able to counter it. Wrench in the neck of Wade Barrett. Eli Drake could possibly survive here. Surviving this match against Wade Barrett. Now it's Drake who's had firm control now. Drake didn't show many signs of life in the first round and neither in the majority of this one. And already Drake has lasted longer in this round than he did in the first. I'd say that should be an accolade. I'm just pointing out the truth here. Eli Drake. Stalking bare knee. Left in the clothesline combination. Cover here to win his first round two. With a kick out, Eli Drake. Can you imagine Eli Drake as a twist champion? Eli Drake looking to hit the gravy train on Wade Barrett. With a minute and a half remaining, shoots the half into the cover. Can Eli Drake score the first fall for him? No, Barrett staying alive. And Eli Drake is, Drake is forced to play catch up here. Back body drop by Barrett. Drake is forced to play catch up. As he is behind one fall and Barrett can easily just wait out the rest of the, the falls here if he doesn't want to try and get another fall I'm trying to come up with hurt words here but Barrett stalking Drake up and on the top of rope then get another wins a chain slam there by Barrett into the cover. Less than 30 seconds. Can Barrett claim his second fall? And he does. Wade Barrett is the new Twitch champion. With a clean 2 and 0. On Eli Drake. There was a lot of promise for Drake to win the title here in the or at least win the first his first round. About halfway into this match, and you can, or this round, you can see it there. There's the knee lift and clothesline. I honestly thought it was going to be it right there. Even after the gravy train. But Eli Drake shoots the half into the cover. Thought that was going to be it there. But Barrett stayed alive. And Wade Barrett Here is your, winner, is your new Twitch champion. Internet Television Champion. Wade Congratulations Barrett. to the new Twitch champion, Wade Barrett. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next is the women's championship. Jordan Grace and Nikki Bella.
Apple and Grace getting this second opportunity at Nikki Bella by winning the RCW Gala that happened last month. So they got Nick Jordan Grace her second match here against Nikki Bella. We'll see if Jordan Grace can make do on that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Pro Wrestling Women's Championship. Jordan Grace is on her way to the ring. Jordan Grace, a very dominant competitor in the women's division, that's for sure. Maybe one of the more dominant competitors in RCW in general. Can dispose of her adversaries quick and clean. The only roadblock to her success to try and win a championship again is Nikki Bella. Of course, that happened at RCW Breakout in that rounds match that I alluded to earlier. Where Jordan did win a fall. He won the first fall, I believe. And then Nikki Bella came back to win the title, win, came back to win the whole match. Of course, subsequently the women's title. And then she had another opportunity at Solar Flare in that triple threat match involving also Sasha Banks. And now it's another one-on-one -on -one match for Jordan Grace in the women's championship. Bella, one of the more dominant champions here in Reign of Chaos, a four-time women's champion. Has won the title more times than anybody else, let's be perfectly honest here. Nikki Bella, more or less a legend here in Reign of Chaos, and it was great to have her as such a champion. Introducing the champion from Scottsdale, Arizona. She is the pro wrestling women's champion, Nikki Bella. And here's something that you gotta consider. If you're Jordan Grace and you cannot defeat Nikki Bella in a one-on-one -on -one match for a second time, where do you go from here? I'm not casting any doubt in Jordan Grace, but you gotta really wonder with the momentum and everything that you can build toward a championship match and you still cannot get the job done, where does that put you? When you're Jordan Grace, if you cannot defeat Nikki Bella, you can plow through the rest of the roster absolutely no problem. Hopefully we won't have to wait long to get that kind of answer. As Nikki Bella's taking it to Jordan Grace there, snap suplex by the champion. And a low ball drop kick by Nikki. And 
Nikki Branch in the neck of Jordan Grace. Jordan able to break free out of it. And the Delta World DDT. And up and over DDT. Military press by Jordan Grace. Great power on display by Thick Mama Pump. As Jordan off the ropes into a kick, a rocket kick. And a seated senton by Jordan Grace. And now again, the power on display, just deadlift to the champion. Power on display into a drop by Jordan Grace. And Nikki again, another snap suplex. Can Nikki Bella possibly be Jordan Grace's kryptonite that belly to overhead belly to belly by Jordan Grace that Nikki Bella is the thorn in Grace's side that will not go away that Jordan Grace cannot beat Nikki Bella kick there by Nikki this match is bring bought, brought back inside the ring First half cover here, only a one count from the champion. Back over there by Grace. Again, another belly to belly countered beautifully by an STO by Nikki Bella. And Nikki with a face buster. To Jordan Grace, and now Nikki immediately looking to put this match away here. Looking for the rack attack 2.0. To Jordan Grace into the cover to retain the title here, too. And Jordan Grace gets the kick out. Quick gut punch there from Jordan Grace. Elevated throw, I don't even know what you would call that, into the kip up. But Jordan stalking the champion, looking to put away Nikki here. Looking to hit the Grace driver, and she does. Come here by Jordan Grace to win the title. Wow, Nikki just barely got the shoulder. I was about to say three, but I'm not the referee, so what does it matter if I say three? Can't cut it any closer than that. And Nikki barely got the kick out. Swing neck breaker by Nikki. Nikki just stalking Jordan Grace here. And Nikki, a series of forearms into the drop kick. And there's a forearm smash. My Nikki looking to pick the legs of Jordan, but Jordan able to shove her off. Now Jordan Grace, her turn. Series of closed lines into a running drop kick. Tip for tap, these two women go. My God, I don't even know what you would call that. A spinning side slam, I have no idea, but he doesn't get the job done to Nikki still. Kicks out of that maneuver. Nikki with an uppercut to Grace. And now Nikki with a torture rack. We'll go for the ra original rack attack. To Jordan Grace into the cover here. To retain the title, and Nuki Bella retains the women's championship over Jordan Grace. What a match between these two. Nikki Bella is still the women's champion.
And I would almost have to think that Jordan Grace has to be put at the back of the line. Again, not that I wish misfortune on Jordan Grace, far from it, but if you can't beat Nikki Bella on two occasions, then someone else has to rise to the occasion to try and knock off Nikki, but... I don't know what can be next for Jordan Grace has to remain to be seen. Here is your winner and still pro wrestling women's champion, Nikki Bella. Nikki Bella still the women's champion. We've seen only one, obviously, one championship change hands. That being Wade Barrett winning the Twitch title. So far, two have been kept with the remaining champions. Let's see what happens in our main event when Prince Devitt challenges AJ Styles for the world title. And here we are in our main event. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Pro Wrestling World Championship. Prince Devitt making his return here to Reign of Chaos Wrestling. Of course, Devitt, a former world champion. Defeated Chris Jericho to win the world championship at RCW Final Bell back in 2017. But for Devitt and Styles, they never cross paths here in Reign of Chaos. Prince Devitt made an impactful return by giving Rollins the assist to defeat AJ Styles. For one reason or another, still has to be remained. And of course, Prince Devitt is part of the deck. He's also unsuccessful in winning his Battle Royal and then trying to win the Twitch title. An opportunity at the Twitch title. So let's see if the deck can claim gold once again here at Mosh Pit with the World Championship. Devitt has done it once and he can surely do it again. But can he do it against AJ Styles?
AJ Styles said he wanted to become champion before he retires. And he has certainly done that, again, in very controversial fact fashion. If you go back to the gala and watch his match against Kevin Owens. But AJ Styles still took that feather in the cap and is the champion. Can he remain the champion by defeating Prince Devitt? Of course, we have to wait and find out about that. Meeting of the... I would say meeting of the minds, but I guess maybe so, since Devitt was more or less a leader in the Bullet Club, and AJ definitely was. As soon as Devitt left for NXT and WWE... Styles came in almost on the same night virtually. Introducing the challenger from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Prince Devin. Introducing the champion from Gainesville, Georgia. Weighing in at 218 pounds, he is the Pro Wrestling World Champion, the Phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ handing over the world title, possibly for the last time. World Championship match in our main event here at Mosh Pit. Devitt, Styles. Let's do it. Devitt out of the gate, running drop kick. Collar and elbow tie up here. Devitt wants the match fast and furious, but AJ wants to slow the match down. Got a clean break here between Devitt and Balor. Devitt and Styles, excuse me. Again, this match was originally going to be Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles, but again, Balor inter Devitt interjected himself as he's been ejected up and over the top rope. Devitt interjected himself in a match between Kevin Owens and or between Rollins and Styles. Handing essentially Rollins the victory. Then we come to a triple threat match between Devitt, Rollins, and Owens. Being caught up on the top rope. And that turned into a number one contenders match. And Devitt wins the match on his first match and on his return and here we are with a world title match between Devitt and Balor Devitt and Styles Dragon Screw takedown by Styles snap mare overhead kick counter by Devitt a flying forearm taking down Styles and standing drop kick right to the back of the left shoulder of Styles and Bal Devitt going up to the top rope here looking for the coup de grace that he has used many times in his career in WWE but AJ able to get the shoulder up but Devitt he uses it to pay homage to his past, but uses this to get things done. The 1916 to AJ Styles here. Is Devin going to win the title? No. AJ staying alive in this world title defense, his first world title defense. A 
And these two know each other so well. Watch a lot of tape on each other. Uppercut there by Devitt. And AJ being slingshotted back inside the ring. And again, Devitt working on the left arm of Styles. And Devitt again up on the top row looking for the coup de grace for a second time. And it connects. But he's now elected to go into the cover. Driving the knee right into the center of the back of Styles. And Devin again. Looking to hit the 1960 on AJ Styles here. Rolling into the cover, center of the ring. Is AJ gonna survive the second 1916 and Prince Devitt has won the world title. And now the world title belongs to the deck. As Maria said a few weeks ago on Strike Zone, the deck has always been stacked against us. And by, I paraphrase with us, meaning, I suppose, the company in itself. That they're again trying to take over the company and they have easily done so by winning the world title here. as Prince Devitt sits on top of the mountain as the new world champion. Here is your winner and new pro wrestling world champion, Prince Devitt. The Prince has come home and he is world champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for us here at RCW Mosh Pit here in Boston. We thank you everybody so much for watching. And of course, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash tubasplat. And of course, you can always support the channel by subscribing to our Twitch channel. be live right here next week on strike zone thank you everybody so much for joining us for mosh pit we'll see you next week